the tools you're going to need. You're just going to need a, a soft hammer, dead blow hammer, impact driver with a quarter inch bit and a you'll have some of these screws that will have come with the blind. This is uh, the rails. These uh, are for a customer that already has um, his boat here so they don't have to be uh, telescoped together like yours are but uh, they're already labeled laying out here ready for installation. We've uh, already got the brackets on the blind here for this install. Um, we're using the T-rail system. Yours may have the clamps that go over the top here but this is uh, the rear of the blind where it says start. That's where this line goes from the rear of the boat to there. And then, uh, of course, over here is where the, the front bracket goes. Okay. So we're going to take the blind material and we're going to locate the warning tag. And that goes to the front right side of the blind. And the rest of this... Just kind of unravel. You may want to do this outside of the boat. Um, it's a little easier for me since I know what I'm doing. But um, and then you can pull these over all four corners of the blind. Over. You'll let this additional material hang over the side. And you'll just let this material drop to the ground for now. At this point, you'll have all three of the, the blue the yellow and the red rail flip to the back with just the green rail up front on your end frame. You see, we grab the green rail and you'll see the green pocket um, on the front and you'll slide this in to the green rail. Put the green sticker up, and you'll feed it all the way through. Hold it. And you'll keep feeding through. It'll come out the other side and you'll line up the green rail with the green or the green sticker with the green sticker put it in give it a couple taps to seat it come back to this side get everything lined up give it a couple taps to seat it and you're good to go so at this point you'll take and just put a self-tapper in here to lock that into place And you'll do the same on the other side. Put the blue rail down and you'll have the other rails faced forward and you'll come over here and you'll do the same thing. Just flip them out of the way for now. takes a little bit of time just because we've got to feed it through the slit in the rail here. Back up. Okay, feed through. Go ahead. Hold still. Okay, feed through. Okay. Okay. Keep coming. Keep coming. That's good. Go ahead. Keep through. And you'll get to where you have to line the blue with the blue. Again, you'll put it together with the soft hammer or your hand. So you'll come over here to this 
side. This is the blue rail still. Um, you'll make sure you get it lined up. Take the hammer. Tap the seat. So we'll take the yellow bar at this point, clip it to the back, and we'll come over here and we'll do the same thing. We'll flip that uh, to the back. So your yellow rail will have bungees tied to it. We don't do that because we're gonna do that while we're here, but you'll have the bungees on this yellow rail and you'll simply come over here and input it into the yellow, line up the yellow to the yellow, bring them together, give it a tap, come down to this side. Do the same thing. Same thing on this side. Stop. Pull this fabric hanging down in the back. You'll run it to where this red tag is, not through this loop, but where the red tag starts. We'll finish this at the end. So we'll feed it into this area right here. And again, we have some slits in this uh, red rail, so it'll take a little bit of finagling to get through here. Go ahead. and you'll come out right here. You won't go through this. Do not go through this loop yet. Um, you'll just come out the end. You'll line up the red. And the red's actually goes down on this one. The tag's on the bottom side. So line up the red with the red. same thing you won't run it through this end piece yet you'll pull it back line that up and again you'll grab the hammer you'll help with that. So we run, just get that red rail slid through we then take that little flap and push it over that end and we go over here and do the same thing on the other side through. Of course, on all of these, you'll run a self-tapper into them to lock them into place. Lock this into place. And you're going to come over here. And you're going to pull so free. You're going to undo the knot that's through this bungee. You're going to feed it down through, I'm going to tie a knot. And then you'll take the ribbon. You could do it in either order. Um, you can do the ribbon first or the bungee first. You'll take the ribbon and feed it through and tie it as well. You'll do the same thing on all four corners. One there, you'll do it over here as well. And then on the back side. You'll run this, uh, ties along the rail on both sides. So you repeat this all the way along this side and then on the other side of the blind as well. Split the pin for the green rail. Just kind of look on both sides, make sure the gap's about the same there. 
as it is over here, if not center it up. And then come over here, feel where the pin is, take a slitter uh, or scissors or a knife. Make sure you only poke through one layer of material and it'll expose that pin. Attach the bungees. Yours will have already came with these bungees attached to the yellow rail. We're gonna pull this red rail over the top at this point and we're gonna lock this into place on the pin. And then we're going to take this yellow rail and we're gonna work it up to the top here and we will take the webbing straps here and we will tie this to the yellow rail. Go ahead and eat. We'll feed these bungees from the yellow rail. One goes to the front on the red rail and then the other one will go um, to the blue rail on the back. You can either do it in this position or you can simply put it down and feed each one of these. Sometimes it's easier to do it this way. Feed each one of these through and uh, then take the S hooks and, and uh, squeeze them with a pair of pliers. Ready? Ready? Yeah? Yeah. So again, what I'm doing here is I've just shoved something in here to get a space in between these bars. Um, instead of putting these bungees on when it was all the way closed over, sometimes this is just another way to do it. Um, yours will have, of course, the S hooks on the end of here because you don't have the tool for crimping. So we send them so you can squeeze them with the pliers, but um, it just allows you to kind of work around uh, this bar a little bit easier to uh, to put these bungees on and, um, and get them clamped. Uh, put this front bar in the down position. So take a two by four or something you can wedge here in the center post. Got it? Mm -hmm. And then you'll grab on either end with the helper and you'll simply, that's good, Heidi. Pull down. You'll simply put some camber in that thing. Let go. You'll lock this back up into position. And you'll see we've fixed the issues with uh, with the gaps going along there. At this point, I've uh, split the fabric for the pin that you've uh, on this green rail, and then you've got these two studs. I've also slit the material for those green studs. And the next thing I'm going to do is uh, prepare this bracket right here. Um, you'll put the long bracket here uh, in that end down there with uh, the little three-eighths pin coming out. You'll orientate this um, handle so it is uh, in, orientated, um, as you can see, with the prongs facing up and the handle will face towards you, sliding over the shaft. So this is what you end up with. You've got uh, the two nuts that go over those two studs. You've got a spring between the bracket and this. This is orientated this way, so as you hit it, it, uh, it pulls the grommet off the pin and retracts the top.